I'm not sure if we were taping before or not, so uh, we'll start all over. I'm at a residential setting, so it's similar to uh, or relative to a commercial setting. First of all, you're going to find out if your tools are correct. So uh, I'm going to look at my corner of my rubber and make sure it's not frayed or rounded. Because if it's rounded, it's going to leave a trail of water. And if it's frayed, if it has like a little thing coming off of it, a little splinter, that'll trail water as well. Um, no nicks in your rubber. Because they'll nick. If you find that there's a streak at the same exact spot, that's a good indication that there's a nick in your rubber. Um, and also, when you're soaping, you want to try to avoid doing this. Pushing up like that. You don't want to do that. If you're using soap... There's little tiny suds that'll be all along here. You can drag those suds down with you. You don't want to do that. So when you're soaping the top of a window, you want to do like angles like that. You want to do angles. That'll draw all that soap out of that, that corner. All right? all right? Assuming this is all working and we're ready to go, if you're using a pole, you want to take this and you just want to go along it. Hit that corner with a robotic action, come straight down, so no turning. Come over here, stop, down. If you do a turn there, you're gonna have water in this corner or you're gonna have a water in a pivot right here. There's gonna be a little pivot probably in this corner right here. If you bump too, you'll leave water. All right, so you come across here and straight down. It's all muscle memory. If it's a big window, you just keep going like this. You just go over over and over until you get to that last stroke all right so we come over here straight down come over here straight down and with this last stroke what's up mike locked. it's locked he locked it yeah. all right i'm doing a video for somebody all right so we're on our last stroke here all right i just have to re-wet it because i'm uh go ahead and uh, I, I didn't do any of these three so if you're here, take this with you. Take this and do these tops. You can take the top off and use it. Sorry. Um, all right, so this last stroke. When you're running a lot of water, here, I'll try to get some water in here real quick. All right, if I, if I tilt this this way, if I tilt it this way, and this is my last stroke on this side, water is gonna be coming off the edge here. Actually, I'm going to have Mike hold this. Mike, come over here and hold this for me. That way I can work and show him what's going on. How wet is your brush? Mine's dry. Yeah. It's wet and dry. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm going to start over real quick. Angle this. Robotic action. Come down. Over. Come down. You're on your last stroke. So if you see it, there's water coming off of there. See that? If I tilt it this way, it'll be water coming off of there. So knowing this, so if, if this whole rubber is all wet, and I put it on here and I come down, once I place that on the glass, there's going to be water on the glass there. All right? When we're doing a one stroke, you're trying to get water off the glass. I, I know there's somebody that mentioned to wipe your rubber to do your one stroke, your last one stroke, or any of them. Um, that's fine, you can do that, it just takes a lot of time. You shouldn't uh, have to. So if I want to and I'm training a new guy, I might tell him, all right, just wipe that with a dryer towel, come up here, and then come straight down. Yeah, that will work. We're gonna try to avoid that. See, I just did that and there's still water at this edge. So if I just come up here and I come straight down, I will leave water there because I placed it on the glass, there's still water there. So what I'm gonna try to do is I call it a dig. I don't know what everybody else calls it, uh, we need to dig the water out of there and dry the squeegee as we're digging. So I'm going to try to get all the water. I'm going to finish on the left side. So I want the water to drip to the left. Now you can see it dripping right here. It's dripping off to the left. I'm trying to get it away from this, this end there because that's going to be in the window where I need it dry. Okay. So I got it on my dry side. I tap it, try to get some more dry, get it more dry. Tap, tap it. Now I'm going to quickly turn it this way and I'm going to slowly go up and every time I pick it up and this is the way it looks. 
but I'm doing a really small little strokes. So I'm doing this, small, small, small. As soon as I get up to the top, I angle this down and I pull it all the way down, just a slight bit, because the more I turn it, the more water will be pushed off and then I'll have to detail this. We want to be almost square over here, but just slightly down. That way we can pull as much water off this edge as we can, all right? So, once again, I'm going to get over. Robotic move in the corner, down. I'm going to do it one more time. This is assuming this is a bigger window. I don't have to do it on this window. All right, my last stroke. I'm here. I tap it. I tap it again. Keep it dry. I come up here. Little strokes, little strokes. Last stroke, down. And every time I pick it up and put it down, I'm drying that glass. And it should be, there's no streaks there. No water at all. And you could do that with a pole. And eventually you'll get to feel, you know, when you do this, as many years as I have, I've been doing this 30 years now, um, you can feel that rubber softly push back and forth, even with a pole. I could do it even a higher pole. I can feel that rubber. Um, that's when you're in the zone, I guess, like a professional athlete. But uh, that should help you. If you've got any more questions, just let me know. But make sure your tools are right. And um, that one stroke, same thing down here. If I'm here and I want to and I want to finish on the side, I'll show you one more. So we're down to our last stroke, and I've uh, this whole this whole thing's wet now. Okay, so I just want to do this and slowly dry, 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 dry till that last stroke. And then you're down. Should be nothing there. If there is, it's a quick it's a quick down, and you're done. So that should help you out. Any more questions? Give me give me give me a shout later.